Now, as you've probably realized, I quite like measuring bits of Lego. And if we have this clown here, what I'd like to do is see how wide his head is. So how wide is a minifigure head? Well, I'm gonna use my uh, digital caliper to take my measurements. So if I put the head in there, uh, what I can do is I can sort of squash it together and I can get uh, some kind of reading. But the best way to do this isn't just to take a single value, because although that might give us a value of 10.09, um, how do I know it's the same all the way around? Well, the best thing, especially if you're measuring the diameter of an object, is to take multiple readings. And this is something that you should know from right through key stage three into GCSE. One of the best ways to increase uh, your accuracy results is to take more values. So uh, perhaps uh, I look at the diameter, which I'm going to measure in millimeters. And what I do is I take various values. So my first one was 10.09. I then repeat it many other times, so I might get 10.12, 10.07, and I did this earlier, as you guess, I also got a value of 10.08. Now each time, what I'm doing is I'm writing down uh, the full display on this digital display. So all of these are gonna to be to two significant, uh, two, sorry, two decimal places. Now the next step is I want to take the mean of these values. So I'm just gonna call that D, uh, again in millimeters, I'm gonna put a bar on top of it to show it's my average value. And if I put that into my calculator, I find that the actual value uh, of the mean of these values is 10.09. Okay, so this is my mean value. Now something else I can also look at here is the range of my values. Now my values start at the smallest one is 10.07 and the biggest one is 10.12. So the range of my values uh, is equal to 0 0.05 of a millimeter. Now it's the size of this range which tells us about the uncertainty in the result. And what we can look at is the percentage uncertainty for when we have multiple values that we've recorded. And in order to work out this percentage uncertainty, uh, we need the following equation. The equation is for multiple measurements, so not a single measurement, but when we've had multiple measurements, uh, it's equal to half the range over the mean value multiplied by 100. Effectively, what we're saying is that half the range is the absolute uncertainty in these measurements. And if we look at uh, the example here, well, the range is 0.05 of a millimetre, uh, so half the range is going to be equal to 0.025 of a millimetre. We divide that by the mean value, which is 10.09. We multiply it to a, by 100, uh, so we can actually get it as a percentage. And if we do that, uh, we find that the percentage uncertainty in this case is equal to 0.25%. So what does that mean? Well, basically, uh, if you have a smaller range of values, so perhaps all the values were 10.09 or 10.07 or 10.08, the smaller the range of values, the greater the, or the smaller the percentage of uncertainty. If these values fluctuate by a large amount, so maybe they went from uh, 10.01 up to 10.51, we would then have a larger range uh, and therefore half the range would be bigger and therefore we'd have a bigger percentage of uncertainty. So this is a method of working at percentage of uncertainty for when you have repeated readings, which is very different if you just have a single value that you've recorded.